Hi everyone, this is Chad again. Um, I'm doing a few videos for YouTube of some of my collectible vintage vacuums and this here is my 1974 Eureka Golden Power Touch model 2087 I believe and just give you a little preview of how it works. Uh, the unit has a three position switch for low, high, and attachments. When you turn it to attachments, it turns on the unit because this has the power touch power grip. So I'm going to do that real quick. And that turns the unit on high. But then for regular cleaning, when it's on high speed, you can see hopefully back here the power touch switch. And when you squeeze the trigger, it turns the unit on and off. It wasn't one of Eureka's most wonderful designs and developments, but it was part of their top-of-the-line package. <coughs> Beautiful box top brocade bag. Uh, it took me about seven years to find a new one. The original, the zipper went bad. So I'm very fortunate to now have this machine complete again. And it was a gift from one of my good friends uh, in the vacuum collecting world. As you can see, it has the regulator, full width headlight, and the cord away. And so now let's do a little vacuuming. This has the Viber Groomer 1 brush roller, which allows this machine to do very well when it comes to carpet cleaning. In fact, during the 1970s, the Eureka and the Hoovers had achieved rough parity because Hoover's beater bar patents had expired, so now Eureka could put beater bars on the unit. And for what it's worth, it's a fairly quiet machine. And I'm going to shut off the unit here and switch it to low. And you could really hear the difference on low speed. This was apparently a good deal for somebody who maybe wanted to um, have a couple of uh, throw rugs or something. So I'm going to put this down here and hopefully get a few decent views of it vacuuming. So there you have it, uh, my 1974 Eureka Golden Power Touch. And the wonderful thing about this Eureka is that even after many, many years, the cord reel works very well. And if you're not careful, it'll snap you in the naughty bits and it hurts pretty bad. So, that's it. Thank you everyone for watching.